The stars are right, and that means it's time for another episode of The Whisper in Darkness. I'm your host, the man from Lang. Thank you very much for joining me today. On this episode, I am taking a look at the Seeker cards in the Wages of Sin, the second Mythos pack in the Circle Undone cycle. There are spoilers throughout if you care about that sort of thing. If you enjoy what you hear, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started. The first Seeker card in the pack is Mr. Rook, Dealer in Secrets. He is a 3-cost asset with a willpower skill icon and the ally trait. He uses 3 secrets and he has the following free triggered ability. Exhaust Mr. Rook and spend 1 secret. Search the top 3, 6, or 9 cards of your deck for any card and draw it. If at least 1 weakness is among the searched cards, draw 1 of them as well. Shuffle your deck. Mr. Rook has 2 health and 2 sanity and takes up an ally slot. Mr. Rook was spoiled in the Wages of Sin preview article, so some of this review may sound familiar. I was a big fan of Mr. Rook then, and I am a big fan of him now. He lets you dig deep into your deck to get the cards you need. He's got 2 health and 2 sanity, so you can sacrifice him once he's done his job, and you may use his ability at least 3 times, potentially more, if you're packing cards such as Enraptured and Truth from Fiction from the Boundary Beyond. Seekers have received several tutors over the years, but there are usually strings attached to their abilities. Research Librarian can search your entire deck, but uh, only for a tome. Dr. Ellie Horowitz can search the top 9 cards of your deck, but only for a relic. Level 0 No Stone Unturned searches the top 6, but it's a one-shot event that costs 2 resources. For an extra resource, you can bring Mr. Rook into play. He can search your deck three times as often as No Stone Unturned and soak a bunch of damage and horror to boot. Mr. Rook is ideal if there is one card that is vital to your strategy or you're playing some sort of complicated combo deck with a lot of moving parts, since he does give you three bites at the apple as a free triggered ability. For example, if you're playing Minte Fan, uh, Minte Fan deck that plans to barricade itself in a location and dish out skill cards to other investigators with analytical mind, Mr. Rook will help you get that combo running much more quickly. Mr. Rook does have a drawback, however, in that he forces you to draw a weakness if it's among the searched cards. The signature weaknesses for Seekers tend to be quite annoying, if not downright bad. I'm looking at you, uh, King in Yellow and Call of the Unknown, both of which I despise. That said, I'd argue Mr. Rook's downside is actually a positive. If I'm going to see a weakness during a scenario, I'd much rather see it early than late, and I would much rather deal with it on my terms than leave it up to chance. If I see my weakness sooner than later, then I can deal with them before the shit hit really hits the fan towards the end game. Imagine if you could time when you draw uh, Amnesia, Paranoia, or the weaknesses that uh, tax your actions. You're probably looking to play Mr. Rook to get the cards you need, so it makes sense to drop Mr. Rook, dump your hand or resources, and then fish out Amnesia or Paranoia, which would then trigger harmlessly. That's uh, way better than your weaknesses showing up at the climax of a scenario, gutting your hand or resources, or facing you, forcing you to take two actions that you simply cannot spare. It's also worth noting that drawing your weakness with Mr. Rook happens in addition to the card you fetch, so you're essentially drawing that weakness for free. How many times have you been going full steam ahead only to draw your weakness using an action or as your mandatory draw during the upkeep phase? You were hoping for a card that would keep the momentum going and you draw a setback instead. By drawing your weakness with Mr. Rook, you're mitigating that small tempo hit that you were going to take down the line anyway. Drawing a weakness uh, sucks, don't get me wrong, but uh, given the choice, I'd uh, much rather draw it for free with Mr. Rook than waste an action or draw it during the upkeep phase. There is a lot, and I mean a lot of buzz, around Mr. Rook in the community. Some players are throwing around the word awesome, while others are hailing him as the second best Seeker ally after Dr. Mylan Christopher. I don't know if I'm willing to go quite that far, but if you're in the market for a tutor to fetch you that key card or cards, that Mr. Rook makes an extremely compelling case for himself. He lets you look at a lot of cards, and he's got the health and sanity to take a hit and stick around until he's done his job. Drawing a weakness isn't great, but if you're drawing through your deck to find a certain card or cards, there was a good chance you'll draw your weakness anyway, so I can't really hold that against Mr. Rook. Really good stuff here for Seekers. The second Seeker card in the pack is Hawkeye Folding Camera. 
It's a two cost asset that has a willpower skill icon and the item and tool traits. It has the game text response. After the last clue is discovered from your location, place one resource from the, re the token pool on this card as evidence. Limit once per game at each location. While Hawkeye Folding Camera has one or more evidence, you get plus one willpower. While Hawkeye Folding Camera has two or more evidence, you get plus one intellect. And while Hawkeye Folding Camera has three or more evidence, you get plus one sanity. Magnifying Glass has been a popular card since the core set. It's cheap, fast, and gives you plus one intellect while investigating. You uh, can't ask much more from a level zero card. Hawkeye Folding Camera is a uh, new take on the Magnifying Glass that costs slightly more and requires slightly more work on the part of the investigator, but it also provides a greater variety of bonuses. You may place evidence on the uh, Hawkeye Folding Camera only after the last clue is discovered at your location. Hawkeye Folding Camera is slightly easier to power up in solo than multiplayer. If you're playing solo, most locations have one, maybe two clues on them. Take one or two investigate actions and you'll be rocking plus one willpower and plus one intellect in no time. If you're playing multiplayer, especially if you're the investigator who is responsible for discovering the line's share of clues, you'll have to chew through eight plus clues before you get the same benefit. That said, uh, you don't necessarily have to be the one to discover the last clue, you just need to be there when it happens. If uh, other players chip in uh, with a few investigate actions here or there, you can still benefit from the camera's bonuses fairly quickly. It's also worth noting that you may place evidence on the camera at, e at each location only once per game, so you can't discover the last clue at a location, drop it back on that location with Dr. William T. Mallison for warned or quick study, and then discover it again. Player cards that provide skill value bonuses tend to be very strong and uh, Hawkeye Folding Camera provides three types of bonuses as it accumulates evidence, plus one willpower, plus one intellect, and plus one sanity. Discovering all of the clues at one location to gain plus one willpower is a very low bar to clear and uh, that bonus is going to do a lot of work during most scenarios since there are many, many treacheries in the encounter deck that require willpower skill tests. The intellect skill bonus is also valuable. After all, discovering clues is the name of the game in the Arkham Horror LCG. Investigators with average to above average intellect don't necessarily need the bonus right away, but it is a nice buff to have mid to late scenario, especially if you run into a patch of high shroud locations or a badly timed obscuring fog. I think there are two groups of investigators who will take a liking to Hawkeye Folding Camera. The first group includes investigators such as Joe Diamond, Roland Banks, and Lola Hayes. All three of them have below average to average willpower and intellect, and all three are somewhat vulnerable in the sanity department. The camera bumps up all three investigators to four willpower almost immediately, and the intellect boost should come online shortly thereafter to help them power through scenarios. These types of investigators will also appreciate the sanity boost since low willpower coupled with low sanity is a potentially deadly combination. The other group of investigators who will take a liking to Hawkeye Folding Camera includes those who can back up their form formidable investigation abilities with mystic spells. I'm thinking here of uh, Carolyn Fern, Daisy Walker, Marie Lambeau, and Norman Withers. The camera will boost their willpower to 4 or 5 almost immediately, which will make spells such as Shriveling and Mists of Rillier much more likely to land. These investigators tend to have above average intellect, so they can afford to wait a little longer for that intellect skill bonus to come online. There are several cards in the Circle Undone cycle with negative skill modifiers though, so there will be times when every little bit of intellect helps. The Sanity Bonus is probably the least interesting thing about this card for these investigators, since most of them have Sanity for days. Hawkeye Folding Camera is an interesting alternative to St. Hubert's Key for these investigators. The camera is half of the price of the key and it provides the same willpower and intellect bonuses once you've cleared a few locations, something which you are probably going to do anyway. The biggest difference between the two cards is the Sanity component and the slot requirement. The camera is a seeker card, which is important for Norman Withers, who might be interested in St. Hubert's Key if it didn't take up one of his precious mystic card slots. Of course, you could always play both in certain investigators, since they require different slots. Plus two willpower, plus two intellect, minus one sanity, and the ability to heal horror and gain some sanity in the process is a very nice combination. 
Cards that uh, provide bonuses to skills tend to be very strong, and Hawkeye Folding Camera will boost two of your skills once you start clearing clues from locations, which uh, you've got to do anyway during most scenarios to win the game. Clear clues from enough locations and you'll get a little extra sanity too, which is very helpful if you happen to be an investigator who has low willpower and low sanity. I uh, like the look of Hawkeye Folding Camera in several different investigators, Personally, I'm looking forward to playing it in Norman Withers because it boosts his primary skills and it's a Seeker alternative to St. Hubert's Key. That's going to do it for my look at the Seeker cards in The Wages of Sin. This is a great pack for Seekers. Mr. Rook is a fantastic ally who will tutor up the cards you need for your killer combinations at lightning speed. He'll also pull weaknesses, but you are probably going to see them anyway if you were drawing a lot of cards to assemble the pieces of your combination. And he's got two health and two sanity, which is great for squishy seekers once he's done his job. Hawkeye Folding Camera is an interesting alternative to Magnifying Glass, which I include in most of my seeker decks. Magnifying Glass is cheaper, but the camera does provide willpower and intellect uh, skill bonuses. Seekers who are capable of clearing a lot of locations quickly, such as Ursula Downs and Joe Diamond, will appreciate the willpower bonus. Seekers and off-class Seekers who are weak in the Willpower Department and uh, Sanity Departments will appreciate a boost to both. Seekers who uh, fall back on Mystic Spells for Offense will uh, also take a liking to it too. That's going to do it for this review. If you enjoy what you hear, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you need to contact me, I can be reached at manfromleng at gmail.com. I'm also on Twitter at manfromleng. Until the stars are right, keep your shotgun close and your elder sign closer. Take care out there, and happy investigating.